In this video, I'm going to show you how to run my favorite route in Madden 21, both to the wide side of the field and to the short side of the field, to make it one of the most effective plays in the entire game. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, my channel is all about becoming a better Madden player in this game, so if you're looking to become a better Madden player, go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. I upload videos every single day, and it's completely free to subscribe to my channel, um, and research has shown me that only 40% of the people that are watching this video have subscribed to me, so do me a favor right now and click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Okay, guys, so I just released an ebook on the bunch tight end. If you want to get the whole scheme, it's in the description. But really, one of the key routes in the offense is this corner route um, that we all know and love out of the gun bunch. Now, really quickly here, I just want to go through and show you um, a lot of people like to put their curl flats at 25 yards and their flats at 5 yards. The beauty of that is how it's going to basically force people to defend this offense in which we can attack um different levels of the field so all that to say we're going to go over curl flat corner a little bit today so first things first is i want to show you this to the wide side of the field now obviously this play was created uh to go to the wide side of the field it's always been good to the wide side of the field it's just as good this year to the wide side of the field literally the setup is super simple super super simple um mike evans on an out uh or i'm sorry uh antonio brown on an out route Chris Godwin on a smart routed corner route, and Evans is going to be on a streak. And if you watch, the corner route's who we want to hit here. So if you watch Chris Godwin, if they play any zone coverage, basically it's a pass lead up, click on, and you typically can hit, you can typically hit that route um, against the zone coverage. Now we'll show you that we'll show you that again um, here, and we'll just show you what I'm talking about. Just because sometimes if they have like deep out a lead out there, sometimes they will come down on that. If they do come down on that, you would just check this down. But again, right there, that's really what we're looking at right there on the sideline. You see right there, that's kind of where we're throwing. So that's the that's the wide side of the field. Okay, that's that's the wide side of the of the defense, right? So obviously you're going to have more room to throw this. Um, there's some other little tricks. Um, you know that really revolve around who you put on the streak. So for example, like let's say that you put um, Let's say you did it like this And you put Antonio Brown on a streak This might be a little bit better for like cover three because cover three just doesn't stand a chance um, and, and part of this is because I don't have gunslinger But as you can see you're able to hit you know able to hit this 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 read now So the next thing I want to talk about is how do you hit this? The one thing that most people don't talk about when they talk about this this offense is how do you run the same play to the short side of the field, right? What does it look like to the short side of the field? Well, we're going to show you. So basically the setup's exactly the same. But if you watch here, watch this corner route. You'll notice that on the short side of the field, I can actually pass lead it underneath the, the zone drop. To me, that is huge. That is absolutely huge. Because it doesn't now it doesn't matter if you're on the short side or the wide side, which means that you can't be as predictable when you run this when you run this play this is just cover three to the to the wide side of it and just watch here how this works just simply outside pass lead every single time it's an automatic laser especially if you have gunslinger he's just going to get right underneath him um one other thing that i didn't test yet um or, or ha i've tested it in other videos but i i haven't tested it here is another thing that's worth considering with this offense is to leave the route deep um, sometimes that actually that route deep actually works really really well now uh, in this situation you see it gets over the zone drop and the coverage because what's interesting about cover three at least the way it works now is a lot of people don't understand that cover three is different after the patch and what that means is basically the timing of when the corner will bail versus when he won't and that can be controlled really by who you put on the streak and who you don't so if you want him to bail early, then you might put the outside guy on the streak. If you want him to bail late, you might put the inside guy on the streak. So, and that kind of depends on you know where you want him to break. But as you can see right here, this if you leave him up on that on that route deep, he beats both zone drops easy. Okay, for for big big plays, and you can run like I think it's crazy to me that you can run this to the short side of the field. Um, most most corner routes you can't do that with. Most corner routes, you you have to run them to the wide side of the field. This one is a little bit unique because 
it just gets in a really nice zone. I mean, it gets a really nice soft spot of the zones. You're able to hit this. Um, and I and, and and I think that's huge. Like you can do different types of things too. You don't just have to. You, this corner route is is very very versatile. You can do something like like this right here. Let me show you how this works now with the smart route. I just wanted to show you this deep this deep guy here. And you see he runs him right off, and you have easy read. So it used to be you wanted to put the inside guy on the on the on the route. Now it's looking more like it might be smartest to put the outside guy on the route just because of the fact that like if you're running this to the wide side of the field um you know this this gets him out faster so there's two ways to run it you can and there's real and we talk about why you would run it one way or the other see like right there that's the cover three bomb but see how jair kind of does he's able to kind of get both of them like that's that's where we talk about that in the ebook about okay let's do this or this or this um so anyways but that's all I wanted to talk about today. If you want to get the whole ebook, there is a link in the description of this video. I just wanted to mainly hit on the how important this corner route really is. Um, it, it really is one of the most important routes in the entire game. If you can master it and learn how to use it, why to use it, um, and really, I just thought, you know, with, with with everything, that if you can if you can really get this to work on the short side of the field, just as well as you can get on the wide side. Like, that's amazing, and, and, and I think it's just huge for the offense because now they always have to have to worry about that, that corner route right there, and now you can kind of build around that with some other things. So that's a little bit about Bunch Tight End. If you want to get the full ebook, the link is in the description. It's the best offense that I've ever put together because, number one, it's super simple and easy to use, and number two, it's very elite and very effective. So within about 10 plays, not even really 10 plays. I typically in a game will run maybe three to five plays from this formation um, with adjustments. So, you know, it's a really, really good offense. It's really, really tough to defend. And if you want to pick it up, there's a link in the description. If you have any questions about what I talked with you about today, you can always text me. My number is 812 216 3644. Thanks for your time. And if you want to get that ebook, head down to the description right now and pick it up. Thanks, guys.